Coronation Eve. The Lord Regent has been defeated, and the reign of Emily Caldwin is now assured. All that remains is to see her safely escorted to Dunwall Tower, where she will assume her position on the throne. Is it really that simple? Big changes. Makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. The Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new High Overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. Thank you, Samuel. I couldn't have done any of this without you. Bit of a loner type, huh? Doesn't really like talking to people all that much. I guess that's why he's the boat person. No new runes anywhere? Alright. Long live the Empress! Celebrate with the Loyalists in the bar. The Lord Regent is no longer in power, and the path has been cleared to place Emily Caldwin on the throne. The assassin who killed her mother is still at large. I actually completely forgot about that. That's a good point. But the person hiring the assassin is gone. So... Hiram Burroughs, once known as the Lord Regent, is no longer in power. His corrupt and illegitimate regime has come to a close. Long live the Empress! They already know? That Emily is here? Hey! Oh, everyone says you did something good tonight. We're leaving tomorrow, aren't we? I don't know if I want to go back to the tower. I can be impressed from anywhere, right? Maybe a ship. Oh, you guys, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Damn me, he's done it. Word is spreading all over the city. The tyranny is over. By this time tomorrow, Emily will be on the throne. After that, we'll clear your name and put everything we've got into rebuilding the city. I wish there were more of a city to rule. Most of Dunwall is rats. And corpses. The Admiral's right, I'm afraid. Corvo, you did your job while the rest of us sat on our asses. Our work starts tomorrow. Tonight, rest easy. Tomorrow, we crown an Empress. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Cole, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. <laughs> Emily's like, eh. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, everybody. So higher mathematics, court protocol, and cosmology, of course. Can you provide these things? The city watches rot through. Of course not, no. Time to impose I just think I should have a central system. role. She trusts me. It's true, she does, but she should trust all of us. Don't you trust me, Callista? She didn't answer. What? What was that? Oh. Oh, that's the music player. I'm sorry. Hmm. Do you know Emily is quite special? She learned from all of us, you especially. She trusts you absolutely, I believe. What's happening? I know we're supposed to relax now. I wish I could. I don't got a good feeling about this. You're not going to leave me when I'm Empress, are you? Of course not. Admiral Halflock smells like tobacco. Do you think I can order him to throw away his cigars? <laughs> Probably. I made a list of all the swear words the Admiral uses. But Callista made me throw it away. What's going on? Do you think Piero will ever want to marry? I mean, hypothetically, you talk to him more than I do. I think he's interested in women. I don't know if he wants to marry. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Recent revelations of the Lord Regent's role in events leading to the outbreak of plague have necessitated a restructuring phase in the city's government. Please remain alert for further announcements. 
This is freaking me out, man. I hope I'll make a good empress. Overseer Martin says I will. <laughs> you don't have any competition. How many dresses will I have when I'm empress? Callista says a hundred, but I just don't know if that's enough. It's a very nice drawing. Gonna try my best to ignore that for now. Who did an empress? Emily's happier, I think. She's such a quiet child sometimes. What will you do after this, I wonder? Get married? It will be good to hear people laugh in the streets again. It would be. It would be. I really must get a wife. Still a few boils left, I suppose. Now, which was the prudish one again? <laughs> when this is over, I'm going to have a truly fantastic set of clothes made. I think it was Lydia, right? The prudish one? Emily's first act will be to rescind the warrant for your arrest. We can finally take that mask off you. Campbell's Black Book lets me control the Abbey, but only at a price. You speak less and do more than any man I have known. I swear I'll help you find the murderer who struck down the Empress. Your life will be changed very soon. We took control of the Abbey through blackmail. But perhaps mm. over time we can wield a more legitimate authority. There's a pretty little forest just north of Holdfast, just waiting to be turned into frigates. Yeah, they're just talking. I'll actually miss this dank, dreary building when we return to the manor. Lydia doesn't care. Oh, you're named Lydia, too. You are an impressive man, Corvo. I hope they give you the credit you deserve. Was the last Lady Boyle also named Lydia? Because that's who I was talking about earlier. Oh. Let's read Admiral Havelock's journal, if we can. Obviously, we're not supposed to be feeling too good right now, though, are we? Entry 6. Until we get through all this and hold the coronation, nothing certain. Dunwall Tower has got its own culture. No telling what could happen if we moved into the place too soon. The next steps must be handled carefully. Things are happening quickly now. I need time to think. Hmm. Remember the last line on the last entry? Look at it right there. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Lord Regent, but what happens after that? Surprisingly, we don't really have too much of a plan. Even though that's kind of been their job. God. Can I find out what this disturbance is? Or I'm just supposed to rest. Attention Dunwall citizens. Please prepare for a temporary disruption in city government services. Remain alert for further details. Just want this. Maybe I'm just really tired because I've been using my power so much. Yeah, fat chance. Do you think we can talk to Sokolov or refill our supplies? Where's Piero? Yeah, look, there's stuff inside. Oh, hey. Back already? I'm happy to talk. I suspect my charm is the only thing keeping me alive. I'd love your food too, if that's possible. The disturbances are getting stronger and stronger. I'm beginning to suspect the Lord Regent is no longer in power. Am I correct? If so, either my usefulness is at an end, or else it is just beginning. I hope my painting of Lady Boyle will be preserved. I realize it was just a tool in your machinations, but it is also great art, and her fall gives it a special quality. Her fall? <laughs> Piero's not such a bad fellow. I wish he'd forget about that business at the Academy. There's something odd about you. As I might have mentioned, I know that mark on your hand. Have you ever dealt in black magic? Ah, uh, you might be jealous to find out. Piero's not such a bad fellow. I wish he'd forget about that business at the Academy. Alright, you stay in there, Sokolov. 
Tivian Ore. Is that the same one? I'm taking part in history here. Yeah. Dunwall is on the verge of a new age, a better age. And this old sailor has had a role to play in it. I doubt I'll be remembered, because the worthy men who made this happen are truly the heroes. And mm. one feisty little girl who hides the sadness of missing her mother very well, bless her. But perhaps someday someone will listen to this and know that a humble sailor named Samuel was a part of it all. I know it's a good day, but the rats are still here, aren't they? I look out at the river and still see the bodies going by. It's foreshadowing, isn't it? The rats are still here. I wonder if the Admiral could get me a post in the Navy. I don't need anything fancy. I guess you'll be headed back to the tower soon. Gonna be a little easier this time, I hope. The river was in a temper this morning. Oh, it's got moods, it does. Like my poor wife used to. <laughs> if you should have any need of me, I'll still be ready to go, Corvo. Just because the Lord Regent is defeated, doesn't mean I'll get lazy. Alrighty. Thank you, Samuel. Hello, Piero. I'm impressed, Corvo. Maybe we can work out a separate deal for the head of the Academy. You've done things no one else could. I wonder... Are the others afraid of you? Not celebrating with the rest of us? Do you need me to put something together for you? Yeah, sure. Sure, I'll have some sleep bolts. Why not? This'll be fine. Oh, <laughs> we can't buy anything. Oh, uh, okay. I'll buy some then. Why not? Oh, I can have 30 bolts. But not sleep bolts, because that would be too much, wouldn't it? Almost game-breaking. Is there really nothing new around here? Is that the old one too? Won't be long now. Barring some unfortunate turn of events or betrayal. This is our I chance, Corvo. Such a chance comes once in a thousand years. We'll rebuild so them. My devices, my designs, an entire city by Piero. That will shake the academy. I love how Piero talked over his own audiograph, so I might as well just read it here. <laughs> yeah, Piero wants to be the royal physician. It, it won't be long now, barring some unfortunate turn of events or betrayal. I will soon have a very astonishing title. Royal Physician. No, it's too much like Sokolov. Maybe it's time for a change. A reimagining, something that will shake the Academy of Natural Philosophy to its stones. Royal Alchemist. Physicist. Royal Astrological Metaphysician. Yes! <laughs> this is why you're not a linguist. You're not a title maker. Now that we no longer need Sokolov, it would be a waste to simply dispose of him. Perhaps I could use him as an assistant. Sokolov doesn't even think about him that much, but this guy's always like on about Sokolov. Oh, I'm better than him. I'm better. I'm better. For natural philosophy, we'll soon see Piero's marvelous elixir, Piero's wondrous mechanical watchman, Piero's stupendous, submersible assault craft. Okay, enough, Piero. I get it. I get the point. Was that the one little thing I was missing? Is that it? Okay, well, I suppose we should just go to bed. Oh no, I missed the coin! Whatever. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting! I keep forgetting we have sleep darts by the bed! Gosh dang it, we're never gonna be able to get to use those. Whoa. 
Whoa, I'm like... Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? Oh my god. It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. <sighs> but we're not dead. I'm sorry something terrible, Corvo. But I only gave you half the poison. They were watching me and it was all I could think to do. I think you're strong enough to survive that. I'll put you on a raft, and then I've got to ship out myself before they find out I've got against their wishes. Snakes. They'll want to do the same to me as soon as I've outlived my uses. Hopefully you'll wake up and find your way out of this cursed city. Thank you, Samuel. Oh my god. And the worst part is, like, why are they doing this? Because I, I killed the Lord Regent, I did all that. But I'm not really the kind of person who can rule, right? Because I'm just... I'm a bodyguard! You guys could actually be the new Lord Regent without killing me! But yet, you decide to do this anyway. An utter act of betrayal. Flooded district, adrift. Betrayed by Havelock, Martin, and Pendleton. You were only saved at the last moment by Samuel, the boatman, who left you adrift in a ruined section of Dunwall. Why? Just why? I guess that was a poison effect. I thought it was the assassins trying to get me. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Speak of the devil. Poison. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to Dowd. It's an elevator. I'm half poisoned, but still wondering about the architectural marvel of the city. <laughs> oh! Those guys can talk. I don't think we've ever heard them talk before, right? Because they've always just gone straight for my throat. Oh, I'm barred here. Shackles. I know a great deal, bodyguard. I recognize those marks on your hand. A gift from your friend. The one who talks to you in the dark. Talks to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you. Who you are and who you fight for. You're a mystery. And I can't allow that. Oh! <gasps> a second chance? You can take away my swords, but you can't take away my powers. The thinkers, thinkers of the city, they devise new ways to detain the elements. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. 
Oh. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. That's it. I really feel like they could have just ruled the empire and I would have been okay with that. Because I don't know how to rule. They do. They're the people doing the paperwork and the politics and stuff. But if they don't want me around, maybe they're corrupt and they want to use the empire for their own means. The rats are still in the city. <laughs> they let me keep my mask! Thank you! Just like that guy said, amateur work. Why would they let me alive here? Betrayed and poisoned. You've awakened somewhere in the ruins of the flooded district. The assassin Dowd left you under guard. Recover your gear, confront Dowd, and find a way out of the flooded district. Ooh, zero coins. What about my crossbows and stuff? Like my crossbow bolts? I didn't even got that. Okay, I got two runes. Mmm. Of all these powers, this one is definitely lethal, but this one is sort of like neutral, I guess, because it doesn't really kill anybody or not kill anybody. It's a wind. So we could try saving up for this, or we can get these ones. Doesn't really matter too much, I guess. Yeah, I'll try to aim for this one. Wait, did they take my bone charms? <laughs> no, they didn't! Thank you! <laughs> They go through the deep ones here, breathing in the rich stink of their enchanted flesh. When the sea wall broke, many strange things were drowned and forgotten. They bring the bodies here with rough hands, rough hands in cages. Some of them are still breathing. The water is so cold, and it's the last thing they feel. These waters oh. are greedy. They will never give back what they have taken. Even the terrible floods were not enough to wash away the sorrows of Dunwall. We have to be really careful here because if we get caught, it's not even just like getting caught by a regular guard. Because these guys have powers, don't they? Is this my only way out of here? It's so loud! One more? No? Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy! I'm so sorry! I wonder though, can I like... Can I possess a rat and go in that hole? That would actually be preferable, but uh, I don't want to waste my mana trying it, because we don't have any mana right now. All the mana we have right now is all we're gonna get. Oh my god. Who is that? Return to the Greaves Refinery, where your gear was dropped. Letter to Overseer Franklin. Overseer Franklin, wasn't it? When we speak next, I hope you will tell me two things. First, what do the strictures tell you about being imprisoned in the cell you could easily escape, where your legs not shattered? Secondly, how your kind knew the location of our base, and what exactly you hoped to accomplish there by marching a hopelessly outnumbered band of fools through chest-high water. Dowd. So we're in his base right now, Dowd's base. This guy's legs are broken. We have to be extra careful then. For some reason, they've decided to do something very amateurish by leaving us alone here. Dowd! Finding Corvo in possession of that mask could have been an elaborate frame job. 
But now, the newly minted Lord Regent Havelock is announcing to all the city that he has proof linking Corvo to the masked felon. The bounty is 30,000 coins, but if Corvo truly is the masked felon and is responsible for all the things the wanted posters accuse him of, I expect the bounty to double. Because we have him alive, we should be able to barter for even more. Regarding Slackjaw, we watched him for a week, and when we were ready to make our move, he suddenly disappeared. Maybe he left the city. Rolfio. Don't know who that is. Bounty. Kroonigan eliminated. These guys are like mercenaries, right? They'll kill whoever for whatever money. Salard. Elizabeth. Booth. Unknown masked man. Revealed to be Corvo. 30,000. Slackjaw. Location unknown. Oh, wow. Both the masked man and Corvo were... They had a bounty. Yuck. Because nobody knew, officially, that we were the same. This is the musical device that the Overseer had strapped to his chest. While it was functioning, we were unable to perform transversals or tetherings. I suggest we all get a good look at it. Can we use this to our advantage? I don't think so. I got a random sword right now, but... Okay. Well, first of all, do I want to go up or down? Down is flooded. But right now, we don't even have full health. So it'll be worth it for us to check down here. Eggs? A few coins? Um, I don't really want to try to risk it because I don't want to get bitten by a freaking fish. Because that's going to make me lose even more health. Is there anything over there? Hmm. Kind of won't let me... Is this right? I can't really tell if I'm getting the right spot or not. Oh, maybe if I took that little area with a rat, then I would have ended up down here. Okay. Cool, cool. I couldn't tell though, because we've never gone through that kind of hole before. So there was no guarantee that we could have. Okay, alright, alright. We have two health potions, one mana elixir. I'll save it up. We have to hide the bodies really well, too. Okay, I have been time. But does it apply for these guys, though? Because these guys have powers. I really need dark vision here because these guys are not normal people. Okay, that guy won't move. Or not. <laughs> that was really stupid. Oh, but they're not really coming to get me. Okay. I mean, if you want. Dang, I got discovered already! But this isn't bad, because now I can see their behavior. Got a little bit cheeky there. I was hoping to get him before he turned around. I thought they would start teleporting and stuff, and they didn't, so... We've actually done something good here, because now I know their behavior, and I'm not as scared. You... You can get in the hole here. Mm. Oh! My gosh. Oh, frick, now he's sitting there again. You gotta move a little bit, man. I don't have any weapons, I don't have any sleep darts. So, if we want to go non-lethal, the only thing we can do is knock people out. 
Okay, those are a little bit too high for me. Yeah, if you lean against the wall, there's not too much I can do. Yeah, so far these guys aren't nearly as scary as I thought they would be. I thought it would be like that guy at the distillery district who was like zoom 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 right at me. The Brig more job. Rinaldo, do the job as you were told and do not question my planning again. Yes, the women who meet in the ruins of the Brigmore Manor possess abilities like our own, and they use poisons administered by Dart. But just as you share my ability to blink across space through the transversal trick, you also inherit my resistance to some toxins. As I told you when you first joined us, it is another of my gifts that whoever serves me loyally shares in some of my power. This may or may not aid you against their poisons. The leader of the Brainmore Witches must pay for her betrayal. If you succeed, you, your share will be enough to build a fine home in Sir Sirkonos in your old age, assuming you live. Dowd. Ah, uh, so that's what the DLC is about, right? The Brigmore Witches? Dowd's people have powers because they are loyal to Dowd. Oh, I wonder how that works. My gear? It's kind of along the way anyway. There, now you can all be happy. We got a little bit hurt from what? The height? Probably some height related thing. All my money is gone now, can you believe it? Rudd Shore Waterfront. Okay, just looking around here, I don't see other assassins, but we don't know, okay? The Dark Vision really doesn't go that far. Dowd's base is there. My gear is kind of in the same direction. If we can, let's stick to the roofs, because I really don't want to go down there. Um, Every roof seems a little bit too far away, though. We can't blink that far. How do we do this, then? Can we get on top of this thing? Feels like that's a no. I want to get onto those pipes and all. Okay, well, let's just try going... Here? Ow! Not a good idea. Yeah, there's not much here. This warehouse doesn't even have like a normal entrance. Are we not allowed to get up that high? I don't see any like... Way to get up high. Oh. Thank you. Oh, it's right here already, the base. I have to go to my gear first, right? Because that's optional. Okay, leave that alone for now. Sorry, we're closed. Mm, this district makes sense because people who are here are Dowd's men. And Dowd's men have blinking powers, which means they're pretty much the only people who can walk around here. Because it's flooded. And that's why they chose this place. Are you kidding me? Now? Not now, guys. Not now. Okay, how do I get over there? Without being attacked. Maybe I'll just go up the chain? Oh, yeesh. Overseers tried coming here before. Eh, grenades. Oh my god, that's a lot of dead people. Uh, just trying to think here. At least I got a pistol. Do I want to crank this though? It's 
kind of like opening up another way for me to be found though. Not sure if that was a good idea. Out of order. So judging by the amount of overseers here... Oh, there's more of those guys. We gotta be careful. I'm guessing they found that there is a large concentration of magical energy and whatnot around here, and they try to investigate. But it's been pretty unsuccessful so far, because everybody's dead. Oh lord. Those things are vicious. What's down there? Oh, there's some kind of health thingy there though. I think we want that. <laughs> Orders from High Overseer Campbell. I bet you safety and courage on your expedition. The assassin Dowd and his cultist followers are commonly known as the Whalers due to the oil worker masks they wear. Beware, for Dowd may possess power and resistance beyond expectation. Tread with extreme caution. Their infamy is well earned. They are based inside the Chamber of Commerce building in the ruins of Central Rudshore. All roads to this area have been blocked, with the exception of the elevated rails. Find the rail station in the Rudshore Market. March carefully, for the cultists undoubtedly employ spies to watch the route. <sighs> Nobody made it back alive. Oh, we gotta go! Oh! Oh my god, those things are super aggressive. Oh, I missed some bullets. Oh, whatever though, I think we were gonna die if we stayed there. <laughs> oh, my gear is right here. Greaves Refinery. Oh my god. Oh my god, there are seriously dead people everywhere. Hey, what makes this one an overseer, but these ones corpses? <gasps> Weepers. There are weepers here. Ew! Oh lord. Yeah, it's all just... Oh, I don't think there is gonna be any normal people around here. Normal, healthy people. Which might be a good thing, because we'll just treat everybody as a hostile, and not think too hard on that front. Oh. What? Already? What is this? Whoa. Uh, maybe we'll come back here later. <laughs> Let's get our gear first. Especially stuff like sleep darts. Greaves Lighting Oil Company. Is that an overseer or...? No, these are weepers, right? Yeah, I think so, which means we should probably just avoid them entirely. Yeah? That's just a Tivian ore. Okay, forget it then. A lot of little foods and all that, but it's not worth it. Oh, it's over there. Find a way inside the refinery. There's some electrical equipment, so we might want to be a little bit careful here. Refinery Manager's Log The tankers marked Batch B coming from the Whalehouse Slaughter Yard need to be connected to deeper pipe row only. These barges contain blubber from juvenile whales and have to undergo a different refinement process to ensure the same level of potency. We need to get the tankers emptied and back out to the Whalehouse as fast as possible. Greaves Lighting Oil Company is on track for record profits this quarter and I want it to be the refinery that gets the credit for it, not those ass scratchers at the whale house. Wonder if that's relevant to us. 
Will we have to do some piping ourselves? Either way though, it's not like this refinery is really in operation anymore. Or is it? Oh. Oh, so if I had like wind blast here, then maybe I could have uh, blown this place open. Yeah, maybe we can try that once we get that. I forgot to check the earlier district. Here? We should still be careful here. That's Dowd's base. But what's this... Fill empty tank? Oh, the whale oil. Oh, there's another one of these dispensers. Okay. But we don't need anything dispensed, hopefully. Oh, no, no, no. Those things again. No, thank you. We'll just go in here. Western Ocean. Backup power receptacle. Refinery safety notice. Remember to keep the stair in the up position at all times, unless there's a shift change or an emergency. Failure to do so may result in damage to equipment and or loss of life. In the event of an actual emergency, main power will be shut off. Use the backup receptacle to your right to restore power to this control panel. The only way to the upper deck of the refinery seems to be a mechanical staircase, which we can get to if we have access to power. Okay. Wait. Yeah, that's the mask Dowd's men use. Well, we already have the refiller thingy here, so all we're really looking for is an empty tank, right? Which we can get here. Helpfully located next to a bunch of river crusts. God damn it. Oh. Thank you, God. Uh, oh, I don't even need this one, right? Because I can just get a new one here. Yeah, I didn't need this one. Okay, whatever. Are these broken? Wonderful. Oh, I can't really... I can't blink <laughs> while I'm holding this. Oh, God. <laughs> How do I do this? I can't blink, can I? And if I throw this thing, it's gonna break. So I have to somehow just... walk over there? a lot of rats. I guess that's the staircase? There's some weepers over there. Will they die because of me? Oh god, I hope that guy was dead already. I want to read the note. <laughs> Letter to Stu. Hey Stu, here's the deal. The old Greaves refinery still has vats filled with processed whale oil that no one's touched. We just need to collect a bunch of empty tanks and use the pumps they have at the front station to fill them back up. With the water level so high, we'd be able to just pull a boat in and out. No problem. Just don't go alone. There's river crusts everywhere. Those critters are tough. Mitch. I think he learned the hard way. Yeah, we already found this out. If all goes well, we should be out of here. All we gotta do is walk up. And not blink up, because apparently I'm very bad at it. <laughs> Where are the runes, out of curiosity? Over there. 
when here, not so long ago, Dunwall was a proud city. Hmm. One out of eight! That's a lot of bone charms. Spirited. Potions give you slightly more mana. Might be good for us here because we're, we're kind of low on supplies right now. Hmm. Ammo? I don't even use ammo. There you go. There's people down there. Oh, Lord. Okay, that didn't really work out, but I think we're okay. It's a little bit brightly lit here. And there is whale oil leaking. But we're okay. One out of five. Okay, let's try getting wind blast then. Just for the heck of it. Release a powerful blast of wind, knocking your enemies off their feet and throwing them. This power will also douse fires, shatter wooden doors, and blow projectiles like arrows back at the enemy who fired them. At level 2, Wind Blast will throw enemies against the wall with enough force to kill them. Oh, okay, then don't get level 2, okay? <laughs> huh? Sure, 8? We'll worry about that later. Right now, my priority is still getting my gear 